In previous presentations, we explored different places where one could download demographic data. And in this one, we're going to think about what we might do once we have that data in terms of demographic analytics. Of course, the main thing we'll be doing with it is a statistical analysis where we can perhaps test uh, different hypotheses from theories. We can look for general patterns in the data, test ideas of causality, look at correlation. Uh, we can use multiple regression analyses, path analyses, structural equation models, and so forth. And then beyond building predictive models, we can also get into forecasting and simulation. Uh, we can use system dynamics to build out case-based projections, for instance, if we want to look at how individual countries might change over time or how the whole world might change over time. If we were to alter different uh, variables, stocks, and flows. There's also life table analysis where we can uh, explore what happens within a population based on different age groups, age structure analysis over time. And then there's GIS modeling where we can explore what's happening in physical space. We can map things at the global level, at national levels, all the way down to local levels. For our statistical analyses, we can use any number of statistical packages, SPSS, Stata, SAS, Excel, Minitab. Uh, there's, there's quite a, a good number of capable statistical programs. For system dynamic modeling, we can use InsightMaker, Stella, there are others. Uh, for life table analysis, that's really just uh, a subset of statistical uh, packages. Not all of them have this feature, but Minitab, SAS, and SPSS do, for instance, uh, also called survival analysis. And then we, for GIS, have a number of packages. The, the dominant one in the field is ArcGIS. Uh, and then, for instance, Census has its own GIS mapping component called the Census Tiger Map Service.